Oh, we're just um, just taking my brother on a holiday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like taking him on at least one big holiday. Uh, yeah, mm. younger, younger yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, he hasn't been to Brisbane for a long time, so. Oh. Uh, so what brought you out here originally? Oh yeah, the country was a mess. Ah, okay. And you've obviously found a better, much better life here. Yes, it's a good country. Especially Brisbane. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. And you've been driving taxis all that time? Ethiopia you're from? Nazareth. Nazareth. Eastern. Ah, Eastern. Oh, so that would be near uh, the Sudan? No, no, no. On the way to Somalia. Ah. Ah, okay. So what do you do here? Me? Ah, oh, this, that and everything. Yeah, so uh, I'm sort of I'm a part-time writer. Uh, I dabble in the stock market, okay. and I should say dabble uh, because I should say dabble because um, uh, it's a very risky business. So yeah, yeah, you can lose everything if you you know if you're not smart about it. Have you always lived in Brisbane? Melbourne also. Oh, you? Yeah, Melbourne? Yeah. When I came, I came to Melbourne. Oh, okay. It's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't like one. <laughs> ah, yes, yeah, yeah. So hot here, but much better. Hmm? Very hot here, mm. but much better. Ah, okay. I prefer that. Yeah. But it's also humid as well, isn't it? Humid, yes. So you went to school over in Ethiopia? Yeah, I went to school. Oh, okay. Uh, you must have been one of the few, because um, you, you wouldn't, not many people would be able to go to school over there, would they? Those days, um, you're very limited. So, mm. Especially university. Oh, yeah. You know, like, only three universities in the mm. country. Mm. But now, it's 33 universities. Oh, okay. And uh, nearly 400. Thousand students at the university. Ah, oh, okay. Big change. Yeah. Yeah, in those days, yeah, still education free, but. Ah. Uh, 
Oh, so they have free education over there? Yeah, free. Oh, wow. Now it's, it's the private school is the ah. education is free. Like with your family or just by yourself? Ah, uh, okay. But I must say, your English is pretty good actually. I think. Yeah, it wasn't easy the first time. Ah, uh, yeah. But I was determined oh, yeah. to learn yeah. the language because yeah. I live in this country. Mm. Oh yeah, you have to add. It's really disaster to speak the language. Yeah, well there's a lot of people in Australia that can't speak English. Yeah, I, I think it's two, two things. The first yeah. thing is not exposing themselves oh, yeah. to the language. The second thing is maybe they leave their own mm. uh, community. Oh, yeah. But then again, any learning any different any new language is hard because I can uh, I can read Greek and I can speak a bit of German. Uh, but the, the really hard thing about, especially in Australia, is you don't get that. You've only got one language here, really. Yeah. So to be able to learn another language, you've got to be able to speak to people in it. again when I go over to Germany I usually end up sort of picking it up pretty quickly anyway. Ah, okay. Because you hear from TV, radio. Mm. And everybody's speaking it. Yeah. So what do you write? Ah, oh, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. I sort of, um, I usually write stuff on the internet so I actually get paid to visit um, Restaurants, shops, um, and write about them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh no, that's actually for a website. Oh, okay. Yeah, for one of the many review websites out there. Um, I've got my own blog as well, which I write about um, uh, sort of ideas and books and all that that I've read, as well as places that I've been. And as I mentioned, I also take videos of like freeways and trains and all that and post them up on the internet or onto YouTube mostly for Tim but, um, uh, back there because he loves trains don't you Tim?
this part of the road would be really confusing.